Cowboys are just so gay, and I love that. Hello, my name is Griffin Maxwell Brooks, and welcome to my coveted closet. Mini skirt on, take my body in, glitter, all that platform, sneakers, all the boys want a picture. I live in Princeton, New Jersey, and soon to be New York City. Living in Princeton doesn't really influence my style much. It more so encourages me to stand out and be different. New York City, on the other hand, influences me a lot. I'm really inspired by like the 90s club kids and just over the top nightlife glitzy fashion. As for my fashion inspirations, the first one was probably Lady Gaga. She is the queen of over the top ridiculous looks and that was just kind of the first time that I was exposed to that. I think of my body as a canvas. I really want my style to be an extension of me. You know, I'm gender fluid. I'm all about things eccentric, campy, and over the top. Every time I say the word camp, Twitter goes into fight or flight, but I'm okay with that. I would describe my style as eclectic, exaggerated, and eccentric. I love this outfit so much. So I've got like the Marc Jacobs Kiki boots, this skirt that I thrifted, the Studio Cult binder clip purse, this Namelia like only sleeves moment, my Bernard Wilhelm Steve Lacey glasses, this MetroCard dress, which funny enough I got because a fan of mine emailed me a photo of it and was like, hey, I made this. I feel like you would look good in it. And I was like, I would love to wear it. So here we are. I will have to return it at some point. I love how this outfit came together. I think it's Flashy and chic, but also sort of ridiculous. I want people to always do a double take when they look at me. I've got a lot of fun pieces in here, some Halloween costumes, some sets. This is a favorite of mine. I reuse this outfit all the time. A Kill Bill costume that I modified. Gotta make it a little more, you know, yassified. This is one of my favorites. I, I thrifted this big faux fur coat for Aspen Gay Ski Week. People kept thinking that I killed a bunch of animals to make it, so I spray painted the word faux on the back of it just to, you know, clarify. These Ciro Disco tile shoes are one of my favorites. I've got like my Oakley over the tops, definitely a staple. I spent way too much money on them, so they need to be on display at all times for it to feel like it was worth it. I think they were in Spy Kids Game Over. <laughs> this button down I thrifted has a lovely lady and it says choose me across the front of it. Really fits my like bimbo. Oh, I was gonna say alter ego, but it is kind of just me. <laughs> I have so many trench coats. You know, I constantly need to look like a Matrix character. This one's super fun. It's pink suede and I got it for a dollar eight at Goodwill, probably like one of my best finds ever. Behind all the trench coats is just like a landfill of sparkly cowboy boots. I have so many of them. These are a personal favorite. I love a shiny flame moment. Come on. I sometimes avoid pieces that match distinctly from the get-go. When I'm first starting an outfit, mix matching things that don't necessarily go together. It doesn't always have to work out in the end, but it helps mix things up, keeps me on my toes. I love taking conventional things and using them unconventionally. Like this is a brooch that I'm kind of using as a bolo right now. Every article of clothing has infinite possibilities. You don't have to wear one thing one way. Mix it up, you know, button things behind you, wear pants as a shirt, do whatever you gotta do, but don't let, you know, the confines of a garment and the way that the model is wearing it guide you all the time. I feel like aesthetic minimalism is the death of art. I, don't get me wrong, from time to time, I love a minimal, very clean cut, like monochromatic look. I have no hate to that, but I think that sometimes people are really caught up in looking like chic and stripped down and clean that they are afraid to be over the top and excessive and eclectic. I think people worry a lot about others being alarmed if their outfit is too outrageous. Don't be afraid to stand out. It's the best thing you can do. With this fit in particular, I wanted it to be like the cowboy of today if they got plopped in the middle of a Vivian Westwood store. So I'm adorned in pearls and you know, I've got bling going on, but it still stays true to like the Western aesthetic. I buy a lot of my clothes secondhand. I upcycle a lot of clothing. I give things to my friends. I keep things. I try not to be wasteful with my fashion. It's a process, you know, understanding how you can be expressive and over the top without falling victim to this classic case of overconsumption. You don't have to be perfect, but you gotta be mindful. If you're feeling afraid to be yourself and you're struggling to go out into the world without worrying about what people think of you, I think that there are two parts to being confident. One is loving yourself and one is not caring what people have to say. And sometimes you just have to let go.